name is E.J. Snyder. I'm a retired 25-year Army vet. I've been married for 20 years, got two great kids, and I currently work as a SEER instructor for the Special Warfare Center out at Fort Bragg. I've been on survival missions all over the world, but this will be my first in Africa. Man, this place is absolutely awe-inspiring. It's just gorgeous. But uh, we're going to have to be on our toes, because I just can see every little spot where a predator can be just prowling around. Come on, blowing it. There you go. I told you. Blow from underneath. Keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. things I've ever attempted to do. This was tough. This was tough. Just never quitting, that's the thing. That's what our survival story is. We were down several times, but weren't out. I know I'm a changed man. I'll never forget this. Right, it's through the stick. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're all right. Oh. I know, I know. You uh. 1500 volts through my body. Ah. Take that, Columbia. Sorry, we refer to the avenue of approach is the most likely way an enemy will come upon you. And so we always set up a defensive position thinking about these things. First thing I'm going to do is strip down the parachute cord, and I'm going to get enough cordage to string lines across from tree to tree to set up a tripwire system. I need to make some noisemakers to hang on this tripwire. I think the lanterns we use in the cavern will make the perfect thing. We won't be able to see, but we can definitely hear. So when a bear comes through our perimeter and hits this tripwire system, it's going to make those noisemakers go off. And that will alert Jeff and I to be ready and get up on full alert in case the bear comes into our camp. Perfect. DJ! What's wrong? My hand's caught! Dude, what can I do? It's the time. I'm in some serious pain. I got 250 pounds, a nylon rope I just made, and it's pinched in there. I got it free! It's working? Working like a charm, Jeff. I'm on the bottom. <laughs> now with my feet safe on the ground, my concern's for Jeff. Okay. Okay. This is one tough climb. It's a little bit steeper than I thought. I'm just praying that my fingers, after getting smashed in the rappel, have enough strength to get me to the top safely. Here we go. Maasai had a rite of passage. When they became men, they had to go out, and they stayed out in the wild, and they had to kill a lion. They had these spears, and they had a bit of a spike on the one end, and they had a flat end, nice and sharp, here. 
And what would happen is when the lion would come, they'd impale themselves on the end of the spear. I'm gonna make a few of these spears, and then what we're gonna do is place these in certain areas of the perimeter because we're in a tight circle. If there's multiple lions, we need to have these in our blind spots so we can each run to our battle station and get ready for a fight. This sapling's perfect. So I'm looking at the security situation here, and the number one threat we have is venomous snakes. I'm making spears. Perfect. I've got a snake in with a nice fork on it, so if I got a threat of a snake, Pin him down, coming in there with the knife, take its head off, thing's done. If I run into anything bigger, I'm gonna cut this into a nice spear point. So I've got double business spear here. Snake in, spear in. Now I gotta go make one for Jeff. You know, I'm old enough to be Jeff's dad, but I feel more like a brother to him, and that's what's so uncanny. Doesn't get much better than this, huh? My kid brother was the best fisherman on the planet. He was taken away from us a little too early, and um, I miss him. <laughs> well, let's get some more. But then I meet Jeff, and it's kind of like I'm with my kid brother all over again. I mean, I could feel his spirit with me. You want to string this one up? I'll wait for the next one to swim in. You got it, man. Not a boy. I feel like I'm out here with blood. And when you got two brothers in a fight together, there's nothing you can't do. Where's the chopper? It's about to click back that way. Did you bring the kid? Yeah, it's right here. Jeez, man, he looked bad. What the hell happened? You do your job, I'll do mine. <laughs>